Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about the cameras that I use uh, to film my motorcycle rides and my mainly my motorcycle helmet setup with uh, DJI Osmo Action 4 Adventure Pack Combo. Adventure Pack comes with pretty much everything that you need, including the selfie stick. I don't have it here with me, but that's not necessary for this video. I will show you some settings on this camera uh, after, but first I'll show you how is it mounted. So I'm using the chin mount uh, brand that's attached to the helmet and for that if you want to have the audio you'll need the microphone adapter which is the ceremonic uh, to trs adapter that's important not trrs trs uh, that's what you're looking for to get the good sound on that camera also inside the helmet i have the sony which is attached just in front of my chin with uh, velcro i ditched the original case that the action cop 4 came with and i got a pgy tech aluminum case which is much nicer to access everything so if you want to change the battery it's a quick process there's a button in the back and you can open the battery access door and you can slide the battery through the side without removing the camera from the bracket which makes it quick to swap it while you're riding also what's nice about the adventure pack combo that the camera comes with the charging case and the additional three batteries uh, that are included in the package i got an extra one on top of it so this way one is in the camera and three in a charging case it takes only 18 18 minutes to charge the battery on an osmo action 4 to 80 percent so they're quick charging much quicker than a gopro and i find that the quality of the picture is also better than a gopro and a user interface as well another nice feature with the go over gopro is removing the camera from the helmet instead of using the thumb screw like you would normally use with a gopro with uh, those uh, magnetic action for mounts you just squeeze the two buttons and it's a magnetic and you can take the camera out of the bracket itself and do swap the card or whatever you need on a go so that's also accessible uh, with this PGY tech case so you have access to your microphone uh, jack which is the USB type C and uh, micro SD card to take the camera out of the case completely so you get access to the side door and the battery door on the other side but if you want to remove the battery out of the case you simply lift the tab right here and you can slide the camera out of the case uh, it's super light it's uh, just a frame the original one or OEM one that comes with the Action 4 is made out of plastic. I still have it. I use it on a different mount. There's other cameras that I use as well. I have uh, two Insta360 One RS, this one here, and the one I'm using to film right now that has a one inch sensor on it. So it's a little bit bigger sensor. This one is uh, 4K. And then I have another one, instead of swapping the lenses, uh, that's a 360 camera dual lens uh, so it's very similar to x3 or x2 uh, just uh, I stayed in one form of cameras this way I have everything compatible with the same batteries and same everything All right so this is the menus of the camera Osmo Action 4 so first of all I have a couple different presets I have a C1 C2 and c3 so they're all set different differently then you have your photo mode your main video modes slow motion and uh, time lapse my number one setting is for uh, basic uh, filming while i'm riding the pov uh, format so if i open this setting here my resolution is 1080p by 30 frames per second and then here in the settings i'm using a pro mode if you go to the exposure you don't want to keep everything default uh, first of all it's your shutter it's uh i have it uh, 1 over 200 to 1 over 8000 uh, that will keep the steady and smooth frame rate and my white balance is set to 54 
200 kelvins. This that that's a natural light. So th that uh, everything works works together when you have those settings. Back to the exposure, you want to set the EV to uh, minus 0 0.3. That's the setting you want to keep. You want to stay below zero. Uh, this way you don't have any footage uh, that will be overexposed, uh, showing um, ghosting, anything like that. Uh, minus three is the best option that I found so far on this camera. Field of view, I keep it on wide. Sometimes I will do it in standard de-warp, uh, but in standard de-warp you can do it in editing software you can still stretch it to 16 by, uh, by 9 with having a little bit more room to adjust the video if you want to but most part wide setting just works fine color profile so there's two different things in the color, color profile um, normal is straight out of the camera footage you don't really have to do much of the color grading but if you want to play with the color grading you want to set it to D-Log M this way you have more flexibility to adjust the colors in uh, post-production I very rarely use that feature because even in my normal color profile I'm still able to do some minor tweaks of course you're not gonna get the full dynamic range as you would in uh, D-Log M but uh, you can still do a little bit of tweaking with the colors. Uh, I'm using a Final Cut Pro on my computer, so I'm still able to tweak that up a little bit. A little bit further down, the Im image adjustment, I have it on default, and image enhancement on auto. That stays as, uh, as it is. One thing that I'm not able to show you right now, because the microphone would have to be plugged in. First of all, you want to keep it on stereo, and then once you connect the microphone you're gonna have one more feature here to adjust the gain of the microphone i keep it at minus 12. i tried many different options minus 12 works the best for me um, usually never a problem with that i have a couple other settings in here so if i go to my user 2 select that as you see it changes my resolution to 4k because the other one was 1080 and 30 frames per second sometimes i'll shoot in 4k uh, depends uh, how much um, detail i want to preserve on from the video quite a few videos i should shot in the 4k as well on my channel so we'll exit out of here and go back to settings those settings stay the same as the previous settings I showed you. I haven't changed nothing on those settings, just changed the resolution. So I'll jump over to the next one with the user 3. User 3 should be at 120 frames per second with all the other settings the same. I just have to save it for some reason it got mixed up here. So if I want to save that settings, I simply go here and we'll save that settings because that was messed up for some reason so now i have a 4k 120 frames per second now with 124 uh, frames per second this is where you are able to slow down the footage in post editing quite a bit because you have more frames to work with if you have uh, 60 you can still slow it down with 30 not so much because the image is going to become quite jittery you can store more presets if you want to for any reasons uh, same thing with the photo i don't use it much for photo this camera but you can it's got pretty decent camera and usually I just keep it on 16 by 9. Uh, you can keep it on 4 by 3, then you can have more details pre preserved and you can crop it in a post editing. The less I have to play with while I'm editing, the better. Because if I want to have a good 4x3 photo, I use my Panasonic Lumix G85. That is, that's usually travels with me as well. And that's where I get the, uh, the best photos out of. Or even my Pixel 8 Pro has a nice camera with 50 megapixels. But uh, the camera is just set in 16 by 9 format. And the rest is pretty much on automatic. Uh, if you go here, I haven't really changed much. It's exposure auto, auto white balance auto and field of view is standard uh, jpeg format again you can change the format if you want to edit after i don't um, i can still get a little bit of editing in my uh, photo software even with the jpeg format so the menu on this camera is very intuitive uh, it's super simple to use um, and it, it's smooth uh, the swipes are smooth even i do have a screen protectors in the back 
and a front so that's another nice feature of uh, this action 4 that has two screens and also both of the screens you can control the camera setting i believe that gopro hero 12 does not allow you to control any settings on the on a front screen it's just a preview screen with the action 4 you have full control except it's a smaller screen so you have you can access all the menus same as on a rear screen so if you're interested to see the footage you can go to my channel watch a couple of videos the latest video that will be on my channels will be made with this camera this year unfortunately it's uh, end of march this is my pretty much first video this year. I'm still stuck at home, I cannot really ride uh, this year. Uh, still snow on the ground and it's cold. This is the worst March we had for quite some time here in Alberta. I'm hoping it's gonna start warming up soon. We had a nice weather a week ago on Sunday. Uh, I was working that day, couldn't get out on a bike, but I'm hoping that pretty soon it's gonna start warming up. It's gonna be time to get the bike on the road uh, I'm itching for that. Another thing that I want to bring in this year to the channel, I just over the winter I got my PA license which is the firearms license and uh, hunting license so I will be probably scouting on my motorcycle some places for hunting in the fall that's gonna be something that i would like to get into a little bit more so you might see some videos from that as well on my channel it's gonna be quite interesting i hope uh, even though i will be new to it i will be discovering the new hobby sort of of mine and uh, see if i can get a deer or elk maybe uh, time will show it's not that easy it looks easy when you have somebody that you know and with the farmland and you can get in there and hunt but i will be mostly attempting to hunt in uh, public land which is the crown land hopefully i get some tags and uh, will be able to get a deer this year or an elk so if you like that video don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button that always helps a lot uh, to push my content through and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers